Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Traklic and today I would like to show you how you can structure uh, your programs in, that, in such a way that you can have a more readable and manageable code uh, through the use of functions. All right? And functions, you can think of them as being, uh, as being named pieces of code, all right? blocks of code that are named, they have a name and you can call them and that, in such a way you can uh, you can create a more uh, you know flexible and easy to read and, and maintain a piece of code so uh, for the moment we are inside the uh, python interactive shell which is not the right place for us to write a uh, to type a program that is going to be longer than one line of statement so let's go ahead and press Ctrl N to open this text editor here and let's start typing our simple program which is going to be consisted of three functions. Okay, the first is going to be the main function and then we're going to define two other functions, the second and third function that are going to call uh, the one each other. Okay, so let's use the keyword DEF or DEF for defining the main function. Alright, so let's define the main function first. This is the uh, the declaration of the function and now let's go ahead press enter to uh, to type in the body of the functions which is going to be just a, a simple prompt uh, with uh, having uh, assigned to the variable user choice so let's go ahead and add a variable here user choice and let's assign to this variable the input of a prompt do you uh, uh, do you uh, want to call the second function function so yes or no so depending upon the answer of the user all right we're going to have a simple if else statement here so if if user says uh, user choice therefore is equal to yes then call the second function which we have not defined yet but we're going to do so to defining the second function in just a while so uh, if the user says yes call the second function else print uh, output thanks now exiting the program all right so this is going to be the uh, the definition of the of the main function. Now let's go ahead and define the second function. Again, we are using the keyword def, and the name of the function is going to be second. All right, and let's define it. Uh, again, we are going to have a prompt under the variable name user choice, uh, and although the name of the variable is exactly the same with this one, this variable here, it, the the two variables are not the same because they are local variables, they have a local scope, and this one is a different variable than this one. So this one cannot be seen, all right, uh, from this function, and this variable here cannot be seen by the main function. But uh, despite the fact we won't have any problem, it's a good habit for you to start giving to your variables, even the local ones, uh, different uh, names. So this is going to have an uh, it's going to be the input of the prompt do you want to call the uh, third function now all right this is going to be the prompt and again depending upon the answer of the user if the user says yes we're going to call the third function But else, it's going to print exactly this uh, this line here. Print output. Thanks. Now exiting the program. So I'm copying this line here and I'm pasting it here. All right. It's exactly the same. So this is the definition for the second function. Let's go ahead and define now the third function. And the third function is going to uh, have again a user choice. Uh, prompt here variable uh, prompt input uh, this time the prompt is going to be do you really want to call the main function this time so the main function 
yes or no Jane yes or no okay and depending upon the answer if user choice is going to be equal to y to yes then the main function is going to get called invoked uh, else we are going to have a print statement here output that is going to have paste so paste the print statement from uh, we have we had copied before so print text now next in the program let's add a yes or no as well here all right so the user knows okay now we have defined our three functions the main the second and the third function but if we now save our program nothing will happen because we have not even just one not even one line of code telling python to do something with those definitions so let's uh, let me show you this let's say first as uh, the program as symbol py overwrite this and now let's go ahead and press f5 to save and run the program but you can see that nothing happens because the interpreter reads the three definitions here but we don't have a line of code telling python to do something so let's go ahead and add uh, a line of code telling uh, interpreter to call the main function so now with this line of code the main function is uh, we call the main function and the main function then calls the second and the second the third if we keep entering yes you can see that we're we are inside the loop that is going over and over again right from the main function to the second function and then to the third and then back to the main let's go ahead and save the program run it and i want to show you this so do you want to call the second function we are inside the main now so let's enter yes and now we are inside the second function and uh, the prompt says do you want to call the third function yes let's say yes now we are inside the third function and the third function asks us if you if we want to uh, to call the main function let's say yes and here's the loop we're back inside uh, the main function all right asking for us and uh, to call if if we want to call the second function yes inside the second function and calling the third function yes and then back to the main so you can see that the loop goes over and over again and uh, we can always exit this loop by just pressing n i mean or another character perhaps and now the program uh, we're exiting the program so you can see that by uh, the important point here the important thing is that you can split your code by uh, defining functions instead of having one big line of statements all right going from here to here uh, which is not that good if you have big programs uh, large programs i mean then the way to go is to start defining your uh, a main function let's say which is going to be the controller function which is going to control the the different uh, secondary functions if you prefer like the second or the third and then you can call them using statements like this one all right or this one to call the second function or the third function so in this way you have a, a, a you 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 have a very very uh, readable and manageable uh, piece of code which is also very flexible and easy to maintain so that was our tutorial for today i hope you learned something out from this if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe see you next time with a hopefully interesting topic hopefully soon until then have fun and goodbye.